Hey guys, hope you all have been well. I know, it's been a little while since my last video, three weeks to be exact, and that was right after my Korea trip. I don't know, I wasn't really in a filming kind of mood. I think I was just really excited about my trip. This is gonna be a two-part video. I wanted to give you a little update on how things have been going, how my trip was, because I didn't do a vlog for it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should, because I post my makeup looks up there, and just stuff that I found interesting in my life. In addition to how my trip was, I'm also going to be doing a legit beauty video. A lot of you guys asked for my recommendations for makeup, things that I like, things that I enjoy, and so I've gathered all the stuff that I've been using regularly, and then maybe you guys can check them out if you're on the hunt for that specific type of product. So if you would like just to see my favorites of right now, then you can just skip on over to this time beauty of YouTube I can just point and it's like yeah so since last video we've been to Hong Kong again if you follow me on Instagram I give you like a day by day what I did through pictures <laughs> my parents have been when I was younger and my, I think my older brother has as well, but it was my first time. I went with friends, which is different from my Korea trip because that was planned for me, whereas we planned Hong Kong. So anything that we wanted to do, we put on the list and made sure that we got to do them. It's been a while since I've done a girls trip. The last one that I did was to Greece. I did go to Hawaii a couple years ago to get together with my friends again, but it was kind of like, oh, I I've lived there before, so the food was awesome. Um, I got to see a lot of stuff, um, a lot of things I've heard about Hong Kong. And it's so different to see like a huge city when I come from such a small place, seeing big buildings, skyscrapers, so many people were like ants walking around and so many different ethnicities walking around. Uh, we also made it a point to go to Macau. We went to Macau, I did. I walked into a casino. That may not be exciting for some of you, but I've never been to Vegas, so this is like the closest thing. Um, I hear so many things about Vegas, and I, I feel like it's kind of the same thing. It's like hotels and casinos and stores and luxury items. I mean, it's like, it really is alive and thriving. We went to the Venetian, the Parisian, um, the Galaxy, which I believe is three different hotels it's like a triangle I think and I think we walked through one or two more and in addition to that we went to see the ruins St. Paul that was an adventure we took the public transportation the bus system I was counting the stops but I think the bus driver just ran through a couple didn't stop I wasn't aware so we got off at the last stop and had to walk all the way to the ruins and mind you we were like dressed in nicer clothing because we were in Macau all our stuff was still in Hong Kong I had my Google Maps on so we were walking trying to find our way to the ruins and hopefully find a taxi to take us there so we wouldn't sweat profusely but that didn't happen we walked all the way to the ruins up these steep hills but seeing it in person it was just like wow I can't believe I'm actually here witnessing it for myself there were tons of people like tons of people this might just be like my opinion but I feel like it's not as congested in Macau as it is in Hong Kong like there's there's just so many people in Hong Kong and it might also just be the places that I stay in I think it's very touristy and very busy granted the hotels and the ruins was busy like they were busy but besides that we also visited um, Old Taipa I think that's what it's called and there were just a bunch of restaurants around it, little cute shops, Portuguese, Chinese fusion restaurants, a lot of that there, obviously. Needless to say, I had a great time. My friends and I made great memories and we're already planning our next trip for next summer. I'm making it a personal goal to like travel at least two different countries every summer. I want to have something to look forward to in the school year. That's the plan. 
tangent over. That is it. I just feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a while, and so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Yay. <laughs> Let's get into my favorites. There's a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna run through them fairly quickly and I'd rather just you ask me questions and then I will answer them down below. So for skincare, things that I've been enjoying, this first one here is from La Poth Cell Soul and it's the AC Daily Calming Peeling Booster. I'm pretty sure this is a toner and I've used the Neutrogena one, a pore eliminating astringent. Um, I've used that forever and I still use it. I, I'm pretty sure it's still my favorite. I just felt like I wanted to switch it up. I received this as a gift to kind of try out from my friend who works for a company in Korea. He sent me some stuff. I tried this out and this kind of works the same as the Neutrogena one. It's just not as alcohol based, I feel. But it still gets off the excess dirt that I have after I wash my skin. I love the smell. That's what I love about Korean products. It's never like, it never smells like chemicals. I mean, some of them do, but for the most part, it just smells like beautifulness. It's got this very citrus lemon scent to it. As you can see, I'm about halfway done, more than halfway done, and I'm like using this all the time. I've been using the, it's the Natural Sun Eco Line for my sunscreen. I use sunscreen every day of my life because I'm noticing that my age spots are popping up in places all over my body and I never wore sunscreen. So to prevent any further aging on my skin years from now, I need to wear me some sunscreen. I've been using this one for the longest. This is the Power Long Lasting Sunscreen SPF 45. It's it's almost like porcelain like when you put it on and it makes me oily especially now that it's summer and I'm constantly outside because I go swimming, I go walking and all of that stuff. I'm a lot more like physically active outdoors. I need to make sure that I'm not disco ball. Now I am using the No Shine Hydrating Sun Cream. It's SPF 45, five less, but I slather this on like a packet, pack it on my face. And it's not as greasy as the other one. I don't feel it's mattifying. It just doesn't feel like usual sunscreen. You know that film that sunscreen gives you. You know what I'm talking about. Foundation. It is face and body. I brought face and body both for Korea and Hong Kong. It was the only foundation I used. I brought another set, but I didn't end up using it because I knew I was going to sweat. I can't have thick foundation on. But this holds up very well, even on days in Hong Kong when I was deathly sweating profusely all over this body. Hong Kong was hot when I was there. It was hot. And it held up really well. I like that it's not heavy, so even when my makeup starts to break, which it can when I sweat a lot, and it did, Long Ping, is how you pronounce it, Big Buddha. When your beat face starts to break, it's bad but this doesn't look bad on the face even when you're sweating a lot it just it's manageable and it actually lasts a lot longer on my skin than regular foundations do it is water resistant so i can fiddle with it here and there but also i just like that it doesn't feel like makeup because i don't like it when i'm sweaty and it's just gross face and body Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is what I use on vacation as well. I've been using it a lot recently. I know that I've used a lot of the, um, tran the sorry, Airspun Translucent Powder. I've used that a lot, especially with my makeup looks. But if I'm actually going out, I would prefer to use this one. I think on my skin, this works better when I'm out. But because I'm constantly using this when I'm out, I prefer to use the airspun while I'm making videos just so that I don't finish this up because it's suspense. If you're wondering what color I'm in, I'm in translucent. And I just keep a puff in here so I can just beat my face to death. I forgot to put in this primer, but the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. Use this a ton in my makeup looks. It definitely keeps my makeup matte, a little too matte. So if you're dry, I do not recommend this for you at all. Even people with oily skin are gonna be like, whoa. But it holds up well and I like that it has, it still kind of has that silicone feeling so it fills in these porous places 
on my face because your girl has a lot. Uh. NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Who doesn't own this? I think it's such a good color. You can definitely manage the amount of pigmentation on your skin. This can give you like the lightest bronze with the softest touch if you're good at blending. And then also it can show pretty dark on the skin. I am an NC40 normally. I bet I'm an I bet I'm an NC42 at this point, but this still shows up on my skin and if if I'm working on it, it shows up rather dark, at least for my preference. Sunny, I love you, but to give me a little bit of a bronzy glow, I'm so ashamed to show you guys. I think I've shown it already, but it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Here, this is Laguna. I need to get me another one, but I still have so much product. Like. Why am I going to waste it? This, this is expensive. If you can see, it kind of has this um, grayish tone to it, so it's very good for contouring, but there are gold reflex in this. So when you put it on your skin, it gives you the bronzy glow. It's Beyonce. And I love it. I love to put this all over my skin. I did not use it today. What I have on is Tom Ford bronzer. In Terra because I had this stacked on the side and I didn't want to mess it up. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. When I went on Ulta, I was I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna try Ulta again because I need to get me a new curling iron. So I tried Ulta to see if they were shipped to me faster, and lo and behold, they did not. It took a month and a half. I'm not gonna order from Ulta. I did end up getting this highlighter because it was on like a recommendation page and I was like hmm highlighter and it's the highlighter I've been using forever. It's got a peachy champagne tone to it. I've seen quite a few people use this in their videos um, which also prompted me to get it. Next item is a blush. This is my favorite. It is what I have on today. This is Eternal Sun. It is a pro longwear blush from MAC and I love it so much. I think that this would look awesome on people with tan skin. It's neutral but peach and coral at the same time. You can go light with it, you can go heavy with it. Um, I think it's dark enough to go either or. Isn't this just the perfect color? I love colors like these. These tones are my favorite and I feel like I need the right makeup for pinks or purples, things like that. But with colors like these, I'm just like, I'm gonna do blue eyeshadow. Blue well, blush, huh? So this one I've talked about forever. This is BR403 and these are the Etude House Look At My Eyes Cafe eyeshadows. These are singles and they're cheap as heck. It's a brown, warm, cool color but I've talked about this forever so I'm just going to close it because I use it every single time. It is my transition color. Yes, it is. This is the RD304, a reddish, almost purple neutral color. This is amazing in the crease and you darken it up. And these colors here are so common in a lot of palettes, but if this is just a few bucks, why not just get this one? You can get you like three to last you five years. And then this one here is BR407, and I feel like this is the darker shade to the 403. They're very similar in tones. This one is just a little bit darker. And the reason I show you these three is because they have been the three eyeshadow combo that I have been using so much. I literally pack on 403, put on the red, and blend it up a little bit more, and then I put the darker brown in my crease. That's my eyeshadow look. Like, that's my favorite. Hi. Lashes. Oh, I love. I do not have these on. However, I love these far more than what I have on my eyeballs or on my eye. Okay. First one. Wispies. I only started wearing Wispies. I think the last haul that I did, I think I hauled this, did I? I used 120s from Ardell for the longest. That was my go-to in all of my YouTube-ness. I've always heard about Wispies since the very beginning and so I decided to try it out. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. However, if I'm feeling a little bit fancier, uh, I feel like these are not as thick but they are a lot longer 
And these are the 113s, again from Ardell. I love the bands on Ardell, they're not thick, which these Coco Lashes are, but they are very dramatic, so. I've talked about them as well. I love the way these look. They're just like the perfect, sexy, but like everyday appropriate type of lashes. I wore this in both Korea and Hong Kong. Same with the Wispies. I brought a pair of each, and I just used them according to the occasion and I love them. They last all day. I don't need to repatch them onto my lids and they're comfortable. They don't feel like I'm wearing lashes which sometimes thicker bands can give you. I finally, I finally got my hands on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I have mine in two colors. The one I'm using is a peachier color but my favorite one is Light Sand. Um, I know it looks really really light um, in the tube but something about this I struggle with light concealer under my eyes I always feel like it's just it's too much of a contrast from what I have on my face but when I tried this and did the rest of my makeup as I usually do this looked amazing this was like I finally found it I finally found my light concealer I was shook when I use this the first time, I'm like, it, I found it, I found my light like concealer, I did. My go-to concealer, however, the one I would use every day, it's the closest to my skin tone, it lasts forever on the skin, I love the way it looks, I love the way it feels. Um, it's my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have mine in Ginger and I just feel like it's the easiest to blend especially when I'm using the face and body, this looks amazing. I would get you again. France. This I have loved for years. I've had to repurchase it again because the ones I had were just too old and I wasn't I wasn't going to chance it even though I've chanced quite a few other things. This is the Rosy Tint Lips from Etude House. It is a Korean brand and it is in the number 8. This is a darker berry color and I feel like it's currently a trend. It does have a red tint to it and I feel like that's what's very trending in Korea right now. It's like this reddish berry, reddish orange, reddish pink type of tones but for my complexion I prefer something more on the berry side. And I like that it's a velvet finish. It's not one of those tints that's very watery and kind of makes your lips peek through. It's a, it's a softer version of a liquid lipstick. I talked about it before. I still love it. Oh NARS! How you mess with my heart sometimes. This is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bahama. I use it every now and again but I remember a few months ago I was going out and I just needed something to throw on and put in my bag and that was easy to manage and I was like hmm I remember I had those those uh, NARS things like this and I put this on and it stayed in my bag. Daisy, Daisy Hoppa? I'm pretty sure that's her name on YouTube. I love her. I think she's gorgeous and um, you know she has a tan complexion as well and her lip preference is my favorite lip preference. I remember when I first saw her and she was always talking about these mauve tones and mauve neutral tones for your lips and I was just like that's me. Well, we're soulmates. I'm pretty sure is it this one? I think she owns this as well. I, I remember her mentioning it um, a while back in her videos and I was like oh my god I have that too we just we just like the same kind of lip color so Bahama has been my jam it can be yours too now I think this is limited edition I'm a little sad because I was under the impression that this was part of the permanent collection raw but this is a NARS let me see lip color lip cover so it's a very opaque, very rich type of, um, what, is, what am I, what, lip gloss. <laughs> How can I forget? Lip gloss has kind of made a comeback and I am loving it because I was such a big lip gloss fan. I love liquid lipsticks, don't get me wrong, but my lips get dry very fast and I'm kind of self-conscious about it, which is why I've started using a lot of lip, lip what do you call it? Lip balm underneath my liquid lipsticks because my lips just look horrible. This needs to be permanent. I'm telling you. And this is in overheated. Um, 
because you can't see the color, I'll show you. It's again this mauve color, it matches Bahama so much. So I put Bahama on and I'll put this on top. It's amazing. It's like my favorite lip combo ever as of now. But that is it. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this whole video. I'm pretty sure it's very long. My brother is in a some kind of match game thing and he's very excited with his teammates. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. If you guys have any suggestion for future videos, I'm always willing to take on recommendations. It's very hard, I think, at this point with beauty videos to come up with new content. So if you have great ideas, share them with me and I will try my best to get great quality videos out there for you guys that can help you guys out. If you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. I'll post a picture on there with all the makeup products listed in the caption portion so that you guys can pick them out and possibly create the looks if you guys are interested. Also, if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it and you can be notified for future videos when they come out. So till the next video, I hope you guys are all doing well, taking really good care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>